lot of the higher order cognition that we complete in our day-to-day -day activity is done in that neocortex and that's why we measure that activity. What this cap does is we place it on the participant's head and then we plug in a bunch of different electrodes. It's going to be measuring how fast the heart is beating. Really you're going to see the, what's called the PQRS wave, which is the typical formation of how your heart beats. I never would have thought about a comic uh, museum and library. Music videos are not just broadcast performances. They tell a story, okay? So you are trying to create archetypes, not to, to do something that people can connect immediately. Psychology is the foundation of a lot of different areas, like law, business, medicine. That gives you a sense for people's individual differences, kind of predispositions you would come to if you were to enter our lab, right? My favorite part, the eye tracking lab, where they track their eye to see where they looked for ad at advertisements to see what would grab people's attention. So the red parts are where people look at most, and the green parts are where people look at a little bit to predict the emotional change and we're really trying to talk about beliefs and not talk about the, uh, the statement itself. That's perhaps one of the most powerful things that we have as individuals. And so uh, the bottom line is these are nice diagrams. I am founder and co-director of the Humanities and Cognitive Sciences High School Summer Institute here at OSU, the Ohio State University. This year we had 47 students from all over the United States, but mostly concentrated from here in Columbus, Ohio. We came up with this idea of bringing high school kids to the Ohio State University campus where we have faculty from neurosciences and the humanities giving the high school students an opportunity to meet with faculty, learn from faculty, do labs here with faculty on campus, Kids learn about how we experience emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Students were doing research on meditation and the brain. What it is about film and animation that activates, triggers, engages our brain at different levels. I came here for the neuroscience, but I was really pleasantly surprised by the humanities. I really love learning about the humanities. How Aristotle thinks about how we exploit emotions to draw people into our art. And you're trying to convince the individuals and the audience that they're actually living through the art you're showing them. Archetypes are prime because it makes us, it is easier for us to relate to what is being told and it makes it easier to understand. So that, that has been going on from the beginning of narrative forms. Oftentimes the most powerful stories are the stories that have the deepest crisis or conflict at the beginning of them, because that's what allows for the kind of most powerful emotional effect. And they develop all of these connections and networks because they're all interested in both the humanities and in the sciences. There was a lot that I liked about it. I really liked the experience that, that we got. I really liked it. I would definitely recommend this, especially, actually to anyone really with any different interest, and I definitely would recommend it.